This is Force 13 with the leaders on Tropical Cyclone at ZO6B Titley. The cyclone will cross north of Andrew Padish, South Padisha Coast, southwest of Kopapu by morning of the 11th of October. It's a very severe cyclonic storm with maximum stay surface winds of 140. 150 kilometres an hour. Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has it 18.5 degrees north, 85.2 degrees east and maximum sustained winds at 95 knots gusting 115 knots. This is the life of the system with a couple of satellite images. And it's 305 nautical miles southwest of Calcutta. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery shows an expansive central dense overcast region of cold cloud tops and an intermittent eye feature. The system is located in an area with low 10 to 15 vertical. Uh, correction 10 to 15 knots vertical wind shear, excellent polewood and equator wood outflow channels to the rest of the system. Now here's some uh, tracks and model of guidance followed by the Joy Typhoon Warning Center's current chart. Sea surface temperatures remain conducive for development at 30 Celsius, although tropical cyclone CO6B will only remain over water for several more hours. The cyclone is tracking along the southwest periphery of a subtropical ridge to the northeast. It will make landfall northeast of Visa Kapanam, India. And at this point in time, it is making landfall when you view the latest satellite imagery. The system will recurve northeast overland as the cyclone rounds the western edge of the steering ridge. The cyclone is tracking along the southwest periphery of the subtropical ridge to the northeast, as I mentioned. And land interaction will begin to weaken the system despite the otherwise favourable environment. After landfall increasing vertical wind shear, interaction with land will weaken the system further to 30 knots within 36 hours. The available numerical guidance members are in tight agreement. ECMWF slightly to the rest of the other models and the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre closely follows a multi model consensus and there's high confidence to the JTWC's track. Now here's a look at some uh, information from the India Meteorological Department office and some uh, models. Wave height 28 feet This is the HWRF composite reflectivity, which includes the pressure. Now we have a look at the 24 hour shear tendency, and as mentioned, uh, Titley is in a very favourable environment along with uh, Lubin. 
The upper level divergence is very healthy, it's around 50 knots for Lumen, but considerably weaker around 20 to 10 to 20 knots for Lumen. Now we have a look at the wind shear. Wet's unfavourable. Yellow neutral and the green is favourable. So with both systems, wind shear not really an issue. We look at the latest 850 millibar vorticity and the vorticity scale is the right hand side of the screen and it is very high when you look at the top of the uh, intensity scale you can clearly see how strong both systems are. Auto more favourable for Titley and finally the Pivotal Weather website again it's the GFS model precipitation the values bottom of the screen and maximum is the area in dark brown and what I look at for my own personal position is the yellow through to dark brown we will have more updates across both systems bye for now you can follow force 13's outlets the website force13.com our youtube page youtube.com forward slash force 13 on facebook under the same name force 13 and our twitter handle it's at force 13 if you wish to get in touch you can also add force 13 on skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.